E3 hype train cometh, fueled by games both big and small. Here's one we've got our eyes on, and you should too. From the creators of MotorStorm comes Drive Club, with a new approach to socially connected racing as players get behind the wheel of licensed cars working together to compete against rival clubs. As a platform exclusive, Drive Club is shaping up to be one of the top driving games on PS4 this fall, focused on pushing the hardware as far as it can. It's a passion project that Evolution Studios has kept in the think tank for years, and the lengthy delay shows that Sony's committed to ensuring the developer has the time to realize that dream. With its emphasis on grouping up in small, tightly knit clubs, it could have a unique approach to multiplayer. We'll just have to wait and see whether it lives up to the developer's lofty goals. With connectivity at its core, the game will be refreshing active events, challenges, and players constantly. It's going to need rock-solid server performance, and Drive Club simply may not be worth playing offline. Additionally, there are only 50 total vehicles. Depending on how the game plays out, it may be enough, but some favorites are sure to be absent, and it'll make any post-release car packs all the more painful. With only a couple of playable stations, last year's E3 demo felt limited in scope. This year, we're hoping for more interaction and a full six-on-six -six multiplayer experience so we can finally grasp the scope of Drive Club's multiplayer vision. For more varied and dramatic races, you can actually adjust the speed of day-to-night transitions. Accelerating the clock to be 60 times faster will let you start a race in daylight and cross the finish line in pitch darkness. We're counting down the days to the Electronic Entertainment Expo with 30 games in 30 days, culminating in our own top 10 anticipated games of E3 on June 6th. Rest up over the weekend and then come back to Game Trailers on the 9th for all the press conferences, trailers, and announcements, along with exclusive demos and interviews on our all-access stage. You're the only person who will talk to me. That doesn't make me feel good about myself. I can't go to E3 anymore. Who cares? E3 is lame. What? Excuse me? Where did the world see Metal Gear Solid 2 for the first time? E3? Where did hundreds of adults cry out loud at a Zelda trailer? E3? Where did Don Matrix say that people who don't have internet can just buy an Xbox 360? E3. E3 is where every year Everything changes. I always wanted to be a part of it. Oh, well, it's too bad everyone hates you then, huh? Yeah.